Hello and welcome. Today I am going to show you a simple C Sharp con console application that evaluates whether a string or a word is a palindrome or not. So I will open the Visual Studio which I have already kept open and then create a new project console application and name this um, palindrome check or something similar it creates the project now palindrome is a phrase which consists of a, a number of alphanumeric characters which is the same reads the same if uh, read from left to right or right to left so my entry point is created as a console application and the first line var input equals I will check with a character just to run the application several times without having to restart so console dot right line enter a word or a phrase just copied for the sake of brevity from my notepad enter a word or a phrase and create a do loop do while loop so do initialize a variable test word or phrase test word or phrase and get it from the console with the user input store it in the variables test word or phrase and check if not is palindrome test word or phrase now here there is a squiggly line and to fix that you know it cannot resolve because the method has to be written it's, so it will generate the method okay apply it has generated a shell is palindrome method which I have to write soon so let me finish with the entry point method main method so the phrase or the word you entered is a palindrome sorry if it is palindrome if the check succeeds if it is a palindrome else is not palindrome is not a palindrome to and then prompt the user if he wants to continue checking for the words and phrases whether they are palindrome or not just an option to let the user continue with his work checking and then create reassign input variable to the newly entered character by the user yes or no y or n and do this while input remains equal to the character y entered now uh, why this is showing the squiggly line expected ah sorry I have to put this bracket sign 
circular brace after the while statement yeah after the while keyword and now I have to start writing the is palindrome method so I'll get rid of this exception and start writing so var min equals zero the minimum index and the var max equals the entered word or phrase dot length minus one the maximum index that's how I get the maximum and the minimum index and write it to the variable min and max and then I'll do a while check while true still the statement is true if minimum greater than max then it return should return true so we have already checked for the entire string that means it's a zero length string and then initialize var a equals the entered string or phrase and check for the minimum check for the value with the minimum index that is the zero index and assign it to a and similarly var b equals test word or phrase with the max value okay so now I will scan forward for a while it is invalid so while not char dot is letter or digit I'll use the built-in method and pass it the character a why is not char dot is letter or digit a that means if it is neither a letter or a digit move forward min just increment the index by one and if min greater than max return true return true and assign the character a with the value of min semicolon and similarly just for the sake of brevity I will just copy from the up there and paste it and then modify now I will pass the character B which stores all the value traversing from the opposite direction from right to left so if this is maximum and it will be decremented every time by one and here it will be max and it will be assigned to the character B and finally uh, an if loop an if statement that converts the character A and B to a lowercase and if they are not equal then it return false and then after all this if and 
while statement increment min by 1 and decrement max by 1 just to traverse forward and that's it our program is done let's check it so builder started with control F and the form is soon going to start so I will start with this word madam the phrase or word you enter is a palindrome you say yes I will check it again and then I will copy another phrase that is Delia so I was ailed Let's copy it paste it the, this is another palindrome and then I will just enter the word app I will say yes to check it again word apple is not a palindrome and then I will quit and that's it thank you